Hello my friends, my name is Dadcraft73 and welcome back to another episode of our 1.16.5 Mod of Minecraft Let's Play series. Oh man, you know we're tearing up brass and we're living that immersive engineering life. That is for sure and for certain today. It's all about making that diesel. That sweet, sweet diesel. <laughs> all right, so we got to do a couple things first. The first thing we need to do, I think, is get ourselves a little bit of a tank situation here. We want to get a tank going. They're actually pretty, we need 34 iron sheet metal and some treated wood fence. Okay, treated wood fence, super easy. I think we have all the pieces, parts that we need. It's the sheet metal that's going to be a problem. So I do have one, two, three. it six I want to say six maybe one two three like that that's gonna give us what 24 that's not even enough okay so we're gonna need two tanks one two three four we gotta be a little careful that's all the iron that we've got to our name so we'll see how this all ends up working out all right let's go here put all those down there get them there okay and then we'll do sheet metal Sheet metal, <laughs> iron sheet metal. This, no, that's aluminum. We want iron. No, where's iron? Iron, iron, right there. All right, we're going to build it like that. All right, so this is going to give us how many? So we need 34, we need uh, 68. So we're going to need a little bit more. Wow, okay. We are burning through a ton of our iron. But whatever, that's just the way it works. The idea is to end up with plenty of materials so we can then go mining and rake in, whoops, one, two, like that, one, like that. Like, okay, so that should be enough, 34, no, yeah, 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 okay, that's plenty. All right, so now let's go and put these guys together. I'll sleep on the sleeping bag once I get over here. Okay, let's do that quick. You may have noticed that we're still playing the same sort of play session. We're just recording all these together. I think it's more fun to see what all this stuff is making. Okay, so I put a whole bunch of sugar cane in here. This thing is working like a dream. This guy is working like a dream as well. Is it the same internal storage? Yeah, yeah. So we almost have, we will probably have really close to 24 buckets of both of this. That's 50 buckets of diesel whenever we get it up and running. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, I think is we're going to build ourselves some tanks. All right, so I got to make my... We have a little bit of fence right there. Okay, good. Let's make some of those. So we're going to need eight of these fences. Treated wood fence. Okay. Let's see how many we can make. Uh, one. There we go. So there's six plus two. That's eight. Okay, so let's see if we can't fit our tanks in here. Uh, let's move our... Oh, well, we're sort of out of room in our inventory. Our inventory is a constant source of a disaster. There, do that. All right, where's my sleeping bag? Got it. Okay, cool. All right, so now we're going to build these tanks. These tanks are three by three in shape, right? Okay, so let's get... Let's see how this ends up working. I think. Hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then if we go over here and do one, two, three, do we have five? No. Okay. So it's going to present a little bit of a problem because our refinery is three by five. And I was hoping to get them all in here at the same time, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a thing. Do we care? No. Because I think we'll just run. Yeah, okay. We'll just run everything under. So we don't need to see all this mess. The idea of all of this automated processing that we have rolling around here is to produce us diesel fuel. So the end product is going to be essentially diesel fuel in another one of these tanks when we're all said and done. And then we just need to really be able to come over here to make our wires and stuff. Okay, so this will work. All right, so let's get these guys dug out like this. It's going to be three by three. Okay, perfect. And I think what we want to do is go down here like this. Okay, let's get this and we'll go one, is it like that maybe? I think so. Okay, and then we can go this, 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 
and this, and then that. Okay? All right, so these tanks are actually really easy to build. We'll walk through it together. We go like so. And then we put one of these there, I believe. All right, and then it's one, two, essentially building a, like a hollow tube. It's been a while since I've made these. One, two. Okay, and then... I want to say that. I don't know if that's right. Let's hit it with the hammer and see. Then we'll know for sure. Yep. Okay. So there's our tank. Perfect. All right. So now we want to... This was uh, this guy. Put this guy right there. All right. And now all we should have to do is just run... Okay. Yep. So it's filling up already. Perfect. All right, so that's tank number one. Now we want to do the same thing over here. I feel like I'm missing... Let's say, let's say 34, right? I feel like we just kind of got wrong. So we're going to have to extra of these things? I hate it when we have extra pieces parts. Ah, just the way it's going to have to be, I guess. All right, so this one on this side is going to go like that and like that. And then these guys will go like so. Okay. All right, so then we can put our one, two, three, four, and then we can go that, and we can go one, two, three, oops, we need to take that back up, okay. We're absolutely going to have to make more sheet metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, whatever. All right. Uh, I want to say it's like that. And then one, two. Okay. And that has to go. And then we'll put that maybe a little bit higher. That'll work. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we have two more pieces of sheet metal. All right. Not a problem. Let's go make it real quick. And then we'll have these tanks fired up, and they'll start storing the raw materials. And then it'll be all about gathering all the pieces parts together to make the refinery. Okay, so we need a little bit more iron. I have some here. We're going to need to use three, no, three of these to make this. Okay. And then we should be able to go one, two, three, four, like that. We're going to need to use a ton more iron to make more pipes so we can run all these pipes like under the ground it's gonna be pretty amazing i think all right and then we can just go over here and go like so and then hit this guy with our hammer there we go all right and then we'll do the exact same thing over here we'll move this and then there and then here and these guys are going to go like so, like that. And this guy should be filling up. All right. And we can tell what's in there by using this. It's ethanol, plant oil. Okay? So now we have two ways to get this out. We're going to run plant oil out and maybe underneath the floor. We do have to remember that we've got this right here. So maybe we can actually build our refinery facing this way. Okay? So let's see. And then we can run... So maybe we go... One, two... We can run fluid this way and in and then that way and in. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's how big the refinery is going to be. Perfect. All right. And then we can have another tank maybe right here if we have enough iron that we can store all the diesel. And then this thing can just run. Oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, so now this just needs to, we just need to understand how we need to run these these guys okay so one of these is gonna go like this okay so it'll go out and then down and then around there and in the side of the refinery and then the other one
will go like that. Okay, and we can get our shovel back out, and we can go one, two, three. Yep, so one is going to run in that way, then the other one's going to come in the other side, and the diesel's going to come out the front. Okay, so let's take a look at our refinery and see all the pieces that we're going to need to put together to be able to make this bad boy. Now we'll go back to heavy machinery, and we're going to go to refinery, okay? All right, so we're going to need, first of all, eight steel scaffolding, which we do not have currently. We can make it pretty easily. I'm not worried about that two light engineering blocks we are out I think yeah okay two heavy we should have those actually so we do have the heavy ones okay uh, 16 iron sheet metal okay so it's 16 iron and some fluid pipes okay so we're gonna need a ton of fluid pipes all right so the only thing that we need to make are light engineering blocks let's remember how to make those light engineering blocks. I'm pretty sure we have all the pieces, parts, brass. Oh, good grief. Okay, so it's two, it's eight, and then 12. So 12, man, we're going to need a ton. Hopefully we have enough iron. 60 pieces of iron is all we've got. Woo, it's going to be close. <laughs> we might just barely squeak in. That's okay. As long as we can get close. I mean, I have a little bit more iron cooking up around here in various places. So we have a little bit over a stack, I think. Yeah, so we have that much. Okay, so let's get... So we need uh, 12. I think we're going to need 20. We're going to need more than that for sure. So let's start off with this. Okay, and then let's do six more. Okay, perfect. All right, so these, so we're going to take six of these and make some of those, right? The rest of these are going to be this, okay? There's a bunch of those, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right, and we should have all the other pieces. We should have brass. One, two, three, four. Okay, we should have copper. Uh, copper is somewhere across the way. Okay. Let's go in here and get a little bit of copper. Let's get the other pieces, parts that we need. Okay, copper. And then we're going to need some of these. Okay, so we're going to have to go here and we're going to have to do. Oh, I made too many of these sheet metals. Dang it. That's a waste. Okay. Our mechanical component is two copper. Okay. Let me get all the pieces together. I'm going to make these. We've already made these light engineering blocks. I'm going to make them. I'll get all this stuff together. We'll come back. We'll put together our uh, refinery. And then we'll see if we can't hook it up to power. It's going to be amazing. These guys are slowly climbing up. 35 buckets, 23 buckets. We might have to get some more of these hemp seeds and put in here. I mean, everything's working. It's just slow and steady wins the race. Okay, so let me do what I need to. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so I think I have all the stuff. Let me just grab these two of these guys out of here. Oh, man, I had some steel scaffolding. That's okay. We'll use it for something else. All right, so this should, should be pretty quick to put together. All we do is one, two, one, two, like that. One, two, one, two. And then we're going to do some light engineering blocks here and here. And then we run a row of fluid pipe five long right through the center, just like that. Can we jump back up here? Yeah, we can. Okay, let's do the thing. All right, so next level is two more of these. So we can use all four of these guys, like so. And then the redstone one goes somewhere. I would assume this is the front that we're building. Just like that. Okay, and then it's sheet metal on either side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Okay. Then we're going to go up one more level, and all it is is sheet metal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now we should be able to hit this guy. I feel like we missed something. Oh, the heavy engineering blocks. Where did they go? Oh, are those heavies at the bottom? Two, 
two lights. Oh, okay. So these, I think. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is how this works. We'll find out together really quick. So we go like so and like so. There we go. There's a refinery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now let's see how much, how much iron we have to spend to get enough pipe to run this where we want to. Okay. So there's going to be one, two, three, four. So we need five, six, seven, eight. No. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we need 16. 16 fluid pipes? Okay. Shouldn't be a big deal. So we just need, that means we just need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna need. Oh man, we are we are down to the end. <laughs> that is for sure. All right, so let's go here. Uh, we can make these back over across the way, and then we should be able to run all of our fluids where they need to. After we make our deals here. Okay. Oh, we actually have some extra ones. Good. All right, I forgot how many that made. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Miscounted. Great. Okay. So I need, do I have one more? Do I have one just laying around? Come on, game. All right, we got to go make one more. Yeah, we're in trouble. But that's okay. We'll just go down to the mines because we just need enough uh, iron to be able to make... Oops, it goes here. Just enough iron to be able to make uh, that next tank or the final tank, right? And then our setup should be in pretty good shape, okay? So then let's just go here. I think having some extra fluid... Uh, tanks is not a bad idea. There we go. Okay, so now this thing will get. You have to put a redstone uh, on that deal to export. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the deal ends up being. Okay, so that's that. Now we just need to give this thing power and let's get that done. Let's see. Do we have one of these? We do. Do we have some things? Yep. Okay, so the cool thing now is the power from this thing. It goes right here, like so, and we can just pull that power straight down. Okay? Now, that means this thing should have power. Yep, it's got plenty of power charged up in there. How's this thing doing? Yeah, it's still, like, we're still generating plenty from those guys over there. I love it. Okay, so now we just need to make a couple levers. Let's go around side real quick. Around side. And we'll just dig up a little bit of coal. We'll probably need that for something. Okay. And then we should be able to make a couple levers, like so. All right, now the big question is where do we put these levers to get that stuff to come out? Do we actually put it here? No. Yes. Okay. That works. Uh. Okay. And then this. Okay, so that means hopefully now we're seeing, yes, yeah, look, we're making diesel, yeah, oh yeah, boy, you know we're taking care of business, we're going to put one of those there, and one of these here, then we'll grab this one and this one, I, I'm down with the way that these pipes kind of like disappear inside, I think that looks great, okay, and then this goes there, this goes there, and then these guys go like so. And we could put some covers there. I mean, aren't there like some cover? Like, uh, no, like, um, sc 
scaffolding, like this kind of scaffolding. Can we just make some of that? Yeah, let's make some real quick. And then we'll just cover up this whole thing. Yeah, we'll do that. And we should be good. Okay, so can I make some scaffolding? All right, and then I'm pretty sure I could just go like... Like that, sure. Okay, that way we can't see like the dirt that's in there. Okay, that's okay. Then we'll do this right here. Okay, look at that, man. Look, we have this huge, awesome setup, and it's producing, everything's producing the stuff that we want it to, right? And we've got this whole thing of diesel. 24 buckets of biodiesel already. And then these are just going to start filling up again. Right? That already has some in it. This will do it as soon as we get more power over there. Everybody's happy. It's taking care of business. Mm hmm Right? Right. Yes. Okay. So now, the only thing that we need is enough sheet metal. And we don't have enough yet to make ourselves a tank. We have probably enough fluid pipes to get where we need to but we just want to make a tank and maybe we'll put it like over here so we have to run some pipe around but I want to be able to just have I walk in the door the only reason I'm gonna ever come in here really is to come make wire or grab ourselves some diesel fuel at least for now down the road we might do something else oh yeah <laughs> oh man we're having a good time all right so now let's let me go hit the mines a little bit get a little bit more iron I'm gonna fit fix up my inventory it's kind of a disaster we should be able to put all of these pieces parts though away that we don't need anymore uh, that could go in there that yeah looking better already that so all that stuff's going to go in there and then after i get that tank built which i'm just going to do then it's time to start working on our mining drill i can't wait yeah yeah I think we have all the pieces, parts. It's going to be amazing. We're going to throw this thing together in a hurry. All right, that means I need to get a bunch of iron. So let me go do that. I'll see you in just a second. All righty, my friends, we are back. Okay, so we've got everything set up the way that I want it to. I, it's a little tight right there. The the uh, pipe for water to this close back here runs right there. But I was able to sneak in this, this tank, and we can still come in the door. We could go down here. We could get access to all of our stuff if we need it. But most importantly, we can get our diesel fuel and our press uh, access right away. By the way, this thing is working like a champ here. We are still using, not using all the power that we could possibly use. So I think we're pretty happy. I'm really happy. Everything's taking care of business. It's slow and steady. But look, we already have almost 80 buckets of diesel fuel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. All right. So now. Now it's time to start thinking about the old mining drill. I need to make one small thing here. I need to go and make myself another bucket. I need to empty this one. Um, I used this down when I was mining. Let's see, this fine. Can I just put that right there? Perfect. All right, because I need two buckets of plant oil as part of our process here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here. So stack these. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of, no, these. Uh, well, not really a bunch, but that should be enough to get me a couple buckets. I'm going to get those. Do I have any more seeds? Ah, oh, yeah, I got some seeds right there, some right there. That should be plenty. All right, so we're going to go put this all into the squeezer. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the pipe that takes my oil out, my plant oil out. All right, so we're just going to go and flick this lever however we can. We have to dig this out. It's kind of a pain. You know what I should do probably is let's just let's make this permanent. That way we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that is going to be that and then that will be that. Right? So I should be able to come in here turn this lever off. Yes? No, it's not letting me. Dang it. <laughs> it's still giving me trouble. Alright, this needs to turn off. All right, it'll just be for a few minutes. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to go ahead and put all of those in there. Those are going to dump in there, and we're going to make a bunch of plant oil. I need two buckets of it for part of this thing that I'm doing. And then I'll come back here and fix this. I mean, I bet I could just put, put that like that and get that. Yeah, won't we leave it like that? Okay, good idea. Perfect. 
that's a great idea, Deadcraft. And then I'll put this uh, here. Okay, I mean, it's still a little janky, but it'll be all right. All right, so I just want to be able to flip that lever in just a second. All right, let's take a look at our mining drill. So to begin with, we need to make a wooden grip. We need to use a heavy one of these and an iron mechanical component. I've got a couple pieces parts. Let me get a little bit of, okay, it's across the way. As with most things, let's go in here and get a little bit of copper. First of all, ooh, that sounded a little bit loud. All right, we need that. We need, what else do we need? Oh, and some copper ingots. Do I have any just kicking around? I do, or copper nuggets. All right, let's head back over. And we can. We should be able to make the first part of this thing pretty easily. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, no, not here, here. All right, so first thing we need to make is two of these. Uh, I have these and I have this. Let's make some more sticks. One, two, three, one, two, three. We'll go like that. Okay, so we're gonna make two of these like that, perfect. And then we have to make an iron mechanical component, which is two of these and a copper ingot in there. That gives us that. And then we need our heavy engineering block, the last one that we have. And then we should be able to make our mining drill, okay? Empty, no drill head equipped. Okay, so then we need to make a steel drill head. Do I have my steel? Of course not. Power pick. Oh man, it's going to be amazing. We're going to be down there digging up a storm, that's for sure. Alright, so let's go grab all of our steel that we currently own. And let's make it in here while we're here. Okay, so we want to make the steel head. So we need to make one of these. And then we should be able to make it from there, because that's a lot of those. 10,000 durability on it, though. Okay, what's the story here? Okay, these are just buckets, pressurized air tank. Do we want to need to be underwater? Maybe, right? Iron mechanical component. We have the buckets. We do need a little bit of blue dye, which we can get here. One, two, three, four. Let's get that together. Okay, let's head back over. Yeah, it's a little bit janky here, our storage. I, I'm I'm resisting the the need to move everything back and forth and just kind of be content with running back and forth for now because uh, I don't know, we won't be doing immersive engineering forever, right? So we may move out of this thing. Okay, so now I can make this. Okay, there's that. All right, so we have these three pieces. Now this is where I need the plant oil. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make two more buckets one, two, one, two, one, two. And hopefully we have a couple buckets of plant oil over here, do we? Yes, so we can go like this and like this. And then we can hop down here, turn that guy back on, let him go back into the refinery or into our tank at least. Okay, so then we should be able to make this. Another iron mechanical component, shouldn't be a problem. Nope, one, two, and one of these. Perfect. All right, now we can make this. No, this. No, hello. That. Okay. So we're making the advanced lubrication system. Reduce the damage to the mining drill head and buzz saw blade. That's almost like unbreaking. Next up is the attack damage and digging speed, and it says up to stacks up to three. Okay. So we need to get one, two, three, four. Five, six. So we're going to need six of those. Let's just go ahead and make as many pieces parts. I don't even remember if all of these will actually attach. I have a feeling that they don't all... They won't all attach, but maybe we can get as many as we possibly can on. Okay, there we go. All right, so there we'll go make our steel mechanical components. Like this, and one, two, three. We'll make those. Okay, so now we want to make these guys... Oh, it's an iron mechanical component. Ah, dang it, that's kind of a waste. That's okay, we'll use those down the road. Put these, one, two, three, okay. All right, and now we can make three of these. One, two, three, all right, there's that part. And then finest, finally is the large tank. All right, so what's the steel here? Iron, what's the steel? <laughs> all right, I don't have any iron mechanical components. Let's put this guy away. All right, let's go make a couple more iron plates. I know it's kind of frustrating to run back and forth, but whatever. It's just kind of way. All right, what else do we need here? And then some steel and some more buckets. Okay, okay. 
those are done. Let's go make our iron mechanical component. It's weird that all of this is requiring the iron mechanical components, but that's okay, right? And then that goes in here. We do like that, and we do like that, and we get one of those, and then we should be able to make the increased tank. Oh, we need red dye. Okay. <laughs> all right, one more red flower, please. We have tons. I'm just too lazy to go to the beehive. Is there just one more red flower somewhere? All right, let's go get it and make it. Let's just go into the house and get the piece that we need. Okay, uh, in here. Okay, and then we will turn that into die, and now we should have this guy. Okay, all right, so there's all the pieces parts. How do we make a mining helmet? Do I want a mining helmet? Probably. What does it do? Nothing except look super cool? Uh, I think absolutely. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see, do we have any iron ingots over here? I know we just sort of got distracted, but whatever. That's how I roll. All right, and then we'll convert one of these. Okay, let's go like this. Okay, I'm on my poor inventory. All right, can I put anything away? I don't know. All right, and then we just need two pieces of leather. Let me see if we have two pieces of leather kicking around here somewhere. Yes, one, two. All right, let's make ourselves a mining helmet. Oh, yeah, boy. Boom, boom. All right, can we put it on? <gasps> I can't even see. Okay, all right, put that in there like so. All right, now, listen, I think we have to go to our workbench. We take the blueprint out, out, and I think we can start assembling this mining drill, I think. Let's take this out, and instead, we put this in, okay? So we're going to put that on, we want to put these, we're going to put this, and I guess we want to put this, right? So the only thing that we can't add is the pressurized air tank. And I think that's okay. I mean, we just can't operate underwater. I don't know what's better. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what's better. This thing looks awesome, though. And then we can just fill it up. So I wonder, can we do... Um, okay. Let me see. Mining. How do we fill this thing up? Is there, Does it tell us? Let's actually look... Before we click the button here, let's just look at our deal. Because we might be able to just bring diesel fuel with us. Okay, so this is going to be tools. Runs off biodiesel, can be filled directly in the refinery. Okay. Handheld diesel power drill is a big advancement in mining with exchangeable drill heads and upgrades. Its properties are almost entirely modified to modify. Okay, this doesn't really tell us. Oh, this is how to make all the pieces parts, I guess. Okay, all right, so that's not telling us a whole lot there, except that it runs off biodiesel. So it doesn't tell us how we fill it. Uh, so I guess, okay, let's let's make it like this. We can always swap, the, look at that thing laying up there. Oh, daddy. All right, here we go. Big daddy. Oh, and we got this. All right, we got one of these. All right, so this is um, like a shader. Let's see what this thing looks like. So we put this back in here. And we put this shader on it. What's it gonna look like? Oh yes! Look. Can we show you? Yeah, boy. You know we're ready to get it on. All right. Can I just click this? Okay. There it is. It's full. All right. So it holds four thousand millibuckets. So I guess the big question is: Is can I bring a tank with some of this stuff in it? and load this thing up. I want to go use it right away. This is what we've been grinding towards. Okay, we do have this. Okay, let's um let's let's calm down. <laughs> Where's my sleeping bag, man? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. So, now the big question is if I go out here, what am I burning? Oh, baby skeletons got me on fire. 
Go get out of here, raggedy thing. Don't kill me. Okay. That's what new cooked rice I was eating. Okay. So now, let's get this. Okay. So the big question is, if I go in here, put this down like so. All right. Do I have my jerry can? Yes. Okay. So let's put this away real quick. I don't know where that goes. All right, so let's go here. Oh. Great. Now I have biodiesel all over the floor. <laughs> oh, man. We have an oil spill. Don't worry. We're fixing it. Oh, is it creosote oil that I had in this thing? Yeah, that's not good. Okay. Oh, good grief. It's always a nightmare. Um, okay, don't worry about this. It'll be perfectly fine. So what I want to... I think that means... I don't know if it means I can do it or not. But let's see what... So what my goal is, is to be able to carry that barrel with us and maintain its contents. And if we can do that... We're going to be in good shape. All right, let's go in here. All right, so this has 10 millibuckets in. This this jerry can is empty. So if I break this, okay, it still carries it. Okay, so then I think what this means is we could take our crazy mining drill, this guy, round. It's going to be amazing. Look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> We can take that down in the mines and just start blowing it up down there. Okay. So what I want to do is let me get my inventory completely cleared out. I want to make some more torches, and I'm going to meet you down in the mines, and we're going to go to town. I'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, my friends. We are back. Okay. So I've done a couple things. One, I got myself a backpack, right? The old traveler's backpack. It looks pretty cool. It looks like I can fill stuff from inventories. I don't really know exactly how this whole thing works, but that's kind of cool. I can definitely put stuff in there that I want to, so we're going to be awesome. Um, I bound it to, and look, by the way, look, it's on my back. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I love it. All right, let's go down here. I may not be even using it the right way, but we're going to be able to be down here in the mines for a long time. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a while, so I could go, just go crazy down here and just mine and mine and mine and get all the resources it's going to be amazing. Okay, let's head down here. All right, let's find a spot. So here is where we have been digging right along this way. So I think what we're going to do... Oh, that's a huge cave. Okay, that's not great for us. But do you see how fast that mined? Oh, my goodness. Can we just go like this? Okay, yeah, this is going to be pretty amazing. Okay, well, this is pretty much what I was hoping for. We'll just be tearing it up down here in the old mines. All right, we'll put some of that stuff in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy. All right, I also have a bunch of... Can I right-click? Oh, I can. Perfect. Okay. All right, so that was uh, pretty insane. We already have tons of resources. Now we just need to keep digging. Oh my goodness, this is going to be amazing. We're going to have all the coal. We can make all the stuff that we need to make. Oh, yeah. All right, so this thing works like an incredible dream. And you can see that it's only used a little bit of diesel fuel. The drill head status is not great still. We're losing a little bit. Um, but it's still, a, it's still got plenty of durability. We're not going to be in trouble anytime soon. Let's just keep going a little bit further. Yes, yes. <laughs> just rake it in. Look at that. We're raking it in. What's going on over here? Okay. All right. So if we want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, boy. Man, we're going to have all the things. Here, can we um, block this off a little bit, maybe? Okay. And then we can go here. Oh, that's silverfish. Oh, okay, hold on. We are in extreme hills. Like, oh, hello? OK. 
Okay. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag. Ooh, a little bit of lag spike right there. We're all good, though. All right, so we just need to keep mining. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. Listen, thank you so much for watching these crazy videos. This was kind of like an epic journey over the last couple days to be able to grind out all the pieces parts we needed to be able to make the mining drill. And now we could be down here tearing it up. Oh, that is for sure. I'm going to spend the next hour or so down here just having a good old time, taking care of all kinds of business. Thank you so much again for watching. Until next time, please remember to be cool, don't be a fool, and from our 1.16.5 Mod of Minecraft Let's Play series where we're playing brass, we can't see, we have an awesome mine and drill. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Oh, yeah.